Hey there, Hofstra fans. Welcome to the WB Mason Coaches Report here on GoHofstra.com. My name is Kevin Dexter, joined as always by the head coach of the Hofstra Pride men's basketball team, Mo Casara. Coach, uh, certainly a challenging week for your squad, but, but any thoughts on that first off? Yeah, Kevin, uh, great. Good to see you. And um, certainly uh, been a very challenging week for uh, myself, my staff, and the program. Uh, but we're really excited about moving forward. Um, we've got some guys out there that are working really hard on the court. Uh, we've got a great opportunity tomorrow night in Wagner. That. Well, on Saturday, your team taking on SMU was a, a bit of a rough loss for your team, but some positives, some guys coming in in, in new roles, and they're playing some, some big minutes and had some positive production. What do you really think of, of your team on Saturday against SMU? Yeah, you know, uh, first of all, got to give a lot of credit to SMU. Very good team. I mean, very, very good team, and obviously well coached. Larry Brown, one of the best in the business, one of the best in the history of the game, Hall of Famer. You know, as I said many times, probably forgot more basketball than I know, but uh, very good SMU team. They're playing very, very well, 8-1. Uh, I thought we did some really good things in the first half. You know, we're down 12 at the half, uh, made a basket coming out of the half to cut it to 10. And I thought we really, um, we were in the ball game and we missed a lot of easy shots. You know, it was just one of those games the ball just didn't go in for us. We had a lot of easy plays around the basket, uh, shot, you know, 50% from the foul line. And those are the little things when you're playing a very good team you have to do. Uh, for example, when we beat Marshall two weeks ago, we did all those things. We made foul shots, we made easy baskets. Uh, and those things lead to better defense. So right now, a little bit of a short bench. It's some new guys and some new roles. It's going to take us a little time to adjust and, and, and you know tinker a little bit. But uh, we've got some good pieces, and, and you know our job now is to work with those pieces. And Coach, you bring up the new guys and the new roles. Uh, Darren Payne sees his first action in a pride uniform, did some good things, grabbed a couple of rebounds, blocked a few shots. Matt Grogan came in, hit a couple of threes. Uh, what did you see from those guys who are going to come in and they're going to have to play those big minutes now? Well, yeah, a week ago right now, they probably weren't planning on playing very much. And uh, Darren especially, we had... Uh, really intended to probably redshirt him. Uh, very talented young guy, the youngest of all of our of our guys, um, and he's got a lot of learning to do, but has a lot of natural ability. And I think you saw a little bit of that. Going to take him a little time to get back in the mix. And, and Matty Grogan is Matty Grogan. He's always ready when we call him. So uh, he'll continue to give us all he's got. Well, you brought up Larry Brown before. For you, as a coach, to look across on the sideline during a game like that and see someone as legendary as Larry Brown, what's the experience like? For you? Yeah, the experience is great. I think the thing as a, as a young coach, you, you also appreciate is when you walk down and, and shake his hand. They, they always seem to be calm. They seem to just have everything under control. And, you know, maybe he wasn't like that when he was 37 or 38, <laughs> but, uh, you know, he did a great job. And again, i got to give a lot of credit to SMU. I don't want to take anything away from their effort Saturday. Well, quick turnaround. Your team's got Wagner coming up tomorrow night already. So what's been the focus these past couple of days to get your team ready for Wagner? Yeah, getting physically and mentally ready. You know, a little bit of a short bench. We've got some guys that play a lot of minutes. Um, came back in practice yesterday morning. Had a really good practice and effort. Back to school today and then game prep today for, for Wagner and, and a good Wagner team who lost a very close game at Temple on Saturday. Uh, I've had some other challenging games, played at Syracuse early on, had a few injuries, but uh, very well coached and the team that beat us last year and have some very good players. Well, especially with uh, you know with the short bench and a quick turnaround, only a couple of games. I mean, how do you plan on managing the fatigue? Give a three-game week this week again with LAU on Saturday. Yeah, day by day. You know, day by day. I think uh, we'll probably take the day off on Wednesday from practice and uh, you know rest our bodies and our minds a little bit, and then you know we've got we've got a good two-day prep to get ready for a very good LAU team on Saturday. The good thing is we don't have to travel right now. You know, we're really home, really here for the rest of the month. Uh, you know, going to uh, Brooklyn twice and LIU and then to the Barclays Center and, and towards the end of the month. So we've really got, you know, a nice home stretch here, final exams, uh, no travel. So that helps with the fatigue, and I think that will help us a lot. Well, Wagner on Tuesday, what are you expecting to see from them? Boy, hard-nosed team. Uh, Brashear, you know, uh, hard-nosed guy himself, former CAA guy, uh, Danny Hurley disciple, a Bruiser Flint disciple, and uh, play hard grind out, tough team with some very talented players as well. I'm looking ahead, not too far ahead, but they'll you on Saturday. They're a team that you obviously beat in the opener last year here at home, but they're an NCAA tournament caliber team these past few years. So how tough is that going to be to head on the road and take on a team like that on Saturday? Well, we've, yeah, we've had our challenges on the road uh, regardless, you know, um, and we have to find a way to play better on the road, to win on the road, to keep games close on the road. So going into a very hostile environment against a very good team. Uh, Jack's doing a great job with them. Uh, you know, they had a few off the court early season uh, issues, but they're playing very good basketball now, and they'll be you know, another NCAA tournament type team come March. Well, finally, Coach, what's it going to take to come away with some wins this week? Uh, you know, ball's got to go in the hoop a little bit. Uh, it always makes you a better coach when it's going in the hoop, and uh, hopefully we can get it to go in a little bit, finish some of those easy plays around the basket, execute in the half court. Uh, get some confidence, get our shoulders up and our chins up, and uh, you know, play really, really hard. If we do that, we'll have an opportunity to win tomorrow night. All right, Coach Gassar and his team taking on Wagner here at the Max Sports Complex tomorrow night at 7 p.m. They head on the road to take on LIU Brooklyn on Saturday afternoon. Coach, thanks for the time. Best of luck this week. Kevin, thanks. And thank you for tuning in to the WB.
Mason Coaches Report here on GoHopField.com.